Hey team, Ray here, this is my Tenere 700, and I wanted to have a quick yarn with you about uh, seat height. Uh, with these new generation adventure bikes, it seems that the seat is just getting further and further off the ground. They're getting higher and higher. I see with the um, announcement of the World Raid Tenere coming out, I don't know, sometime in the future, that's coming out with a seat height of 890 millimeters. There's only probably two people I know that are that tall. This particular Tenere uh, came out with a seat height of 870 millimeters. And although it's fine for me on the tarmac and on the concrete, when I get off road, that's where I have issues. Cause I quite often get to a point where I want to put my foot down. I'll put my foot in a hole and I end up dropping the bike. Uh, so these Outback Motortech crash bars have saved my bacon many times. Um, they're kind of essential on this bike for me. Um, what can we do to lower the bike, get a little bit more ground purchase? with our feet well the first thing we can do is replace the seat this is the standard seat that comes out with them you can get a higher seat the rally seat you can also get a one stage lower seat which is going to drop um, the seat height by about 20 millimeters uh, and that's my first option let's give it a crack it's really easy use your key pop off the pillion seat Now I've done a little modification to the two bolts here that bolt the seat down. There's a collared washer that goes around the bolts and if you flip it over upside down and then put the bolts back in, all you need to do to get your seat off is pull it. Nice and easy, comes off real quick. Um, let's replace the seat. So this is the Yamaha factory lower seat for the Tenere 700. If you can't get one of these, then uh, a good idea would be to take it to an upholsterer, get them to um, replace some of the foam, take some foam out of it and put some softer stuff in here for you. Uh, essentially, it's just lower in this point here. The back here is the same height, but it's this kind of saddle that's really low. And you lose 20 mil of height or ground uh, seat height, not ground clearance. We're not adjusting the ground clearance at all. Piece it in there, pop it down, pillion seat back on. And there we go. We've lowered the seat height by 20 millimeters. Uh, of course, that's gonna have a slight um, impact on the angle of our knee from the pegs to the center position. But 20 millimeters, I don't anticipate it being that much and it might just be enough to get my foot on the ground. There is another option. Uh, and that is a lowering link. We're gonna do that in uh, a future video. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, follow along, and I hope you enjoy this video. Let's take this out for a bit of a road trip and uh, see how we go. Road test it, looking forward to it. My first ride on the Yamaha low seat was actually my most recent motor camping trip. A three day ride from Wellington, 330 kilometers up the line to National Park, through the 42nd Traverse and Fisher's Track, and 330 kilometers home again. I've done this ride before on the factory seat, so I feel I'm qualified to make a comparison here. On the first time around with the factory seat, I did drop the bike a couple of times because I couldn't get a foot down on the ground when I needed to. And granted this time around conditions were better, but there was a noticeable difference running this low seat. I didn't drop the bike at all, and when I needed to get a foot down I could. I had more confidence tackling slightly more difficult stuff, knowing it was going to be easier to stop the bike falling over if needs be. There's a playground near a car park at the start of the 40 second traverse where I did attempt a small jump. Given the bike is still running the softer factory suspension I was always going to blow completely through the stroke and bottom out. I may have even hit the bash plate on the ground. But what's notable here is that the low seat option does not alter the suspension or ground clearance. This could be important for you if you're looking to get the lowest seat possible without losing any ground clearance. The downside to the lower seat, however, is that the comfort is slightly reduced for long days in the saddle. It's okay for off-road because I spend more time standing up, but on long highway stretches it was definitely less comfortable than the standard seat. I found myself standing up whenever possible. It makes sense because there's less foam under the seat cover, so bear that in mind if you're thinking of hitting this way. But hey, I didn't die, and I was able to get a foot down. 
So to me, that's a win. Join me next time when I test out another lowering option for those vertically challenged. We're going to be testing out some lowering links. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next one.